Um, welcome everyone. Uh, this today we're we're going to be talking a little bit about the um, the history of curling. Uh, it has a, a a long history here, and the history of curling really is hundreds hundreds of years old. Um, uh, some views of how people played curling um, back in the day. Uh, it was always on ice. It always had some kind of a broom, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. But it has a it has a variety of of uh, places in our history, uh, and most of the and uh, and through the years, it has always been uh, a very a very sport that one can appreciate, especially of course in the winter time. Because all of these pictures, one thing that was always essential in all of this was ice. So we'll talk about that. But um, curling started in Scotland um, hundreds of years ago. It was, uh, like I say, a winter sport uh, coming out. And if you know, and if you recognize that Marathon County Wausau had some Scottish immigrants coming into it. So we can understand a little bit about how uh, Wasa grabbed onto this to this sport of curling. Um, it, it sort of came with it came with the with the people from Scotland into Canada, uh, into the North New England parts of the United States, and also, of course, into the Middle West. And uh, and since we have uh, a no, some notable Scots. Uh, here we'll should talk about that in a few minutes. But again, one of the things that is essential, one of the things that is important in this is it's a winter sport. Uh, always in the early days, pretty much always outside, always a good always a good winter sport that people can really uh, gather around. Um, one, some of the things that are necessary for this sport of curling is a broom also a rock or a stone it's a, as you notice in some of the earlier pictures a variety of different things were uh were broomed about but uh in, in this day and age it's pretty much this type of a rock or a stone and here we are in wasa at in the curling barn and here they're gathered with their brooms their their rocks their stones and ice in an early picture of of the curling barn here in Wausau. We'll get to that in a couple minutes. Eventually, that curling barn turned into something quite nice, um, uh, a little bit more lighter than the than the dark barn that we showed prior. But it was always the Wausau Curling Club in the curling barns at Marathon Park. But I want to go back a little bit earlier because this is sort of a mystery that I came across 1886 in the port in the city of Portage newspaper. They were reporting that the curling the Portage Curling Club was getting some curling blocks, which they call them at that time, from a quarry here in Wassa, which was really unusual because we, I did not know that we were coming out of the coming out of the granite quarries in this city. Um, Mr. Robertson's, especially Mr. Robertson's uh, granite quarry, that he was in the process of making um, curling, what they call at that time curling blocks. We don't know much, um, Mr. Robertson uh, joined uh, in 1886 with a granite quarry, but if they were if they were aware of granite and the and the sport of curling, then I'm almost assuming, but we don't have any evidence that there was curling going on here in the 1880s as well as in the 1890s. The Scott people from Scotland were coming here, of course, the Alexanders and the Mackandoos and a variety of other. Uh, people from Scotland were here. So I'm quite confident that they brought uh, the, the sport of curling with them. Uh, that's a little bit of research that we now have to pursue. But uh, in the light of this talk, I think that we can start to date 
curling in Wausau back into the 1880s, maybe even into the, uh, well, at least into the 1880s and as well as in the 1890s. But it came, but the sport of curling really started to came a little bit later. Um, again, from a, a Portage, the city of Portage newspaper, and then uh, curling will be, will, will, will boom here next year. Uh, they're reporting on the sport of curling, but an interesting note in this little article was that a, a, a personal letter from the editor of the paper, the Wasa Daily Record held at that time, John Loomis Sturdivant, um, was saying that they were organizing a curling club and that they will be with us in our bond spiel next year. This is dated 1909, coming out of Portage. So again, early, really early curling going on in this city. Um, Mr. Sturdivant, uh, we're not quite sure of his uh, Scottish background, but he was evidently also well known about the, the sport of curling at that time. And then also in that same year, up here in Wassa, a curling rink was being laid out on Winton Ice Park on Franklin Street. We're not quite sure where that was on Franklin. It was starting to be quite developed. But at least we know that in 1909, um, curling was starting in full, full flavor here in Wassa. And it was usually held in conjunction with a winter carnival of some sort. This was 1909, a winter carnival. Later on into the 1920s and 1930s, we're going to, of course, see the the winter frolics, a much more organized uh, event in the wintertime celebrating a variety of winter sports. But again, here in 1909, we're seeing that they're going to be doing down at the Rockchilds Pavilion, um, they're going to flood, flood the park and they're going to start with with um, with curling, so again, uh, some a sport that was really unnoticed, you know, in our usual history of the sport in the city, we are now starting to notice that it was coming full force into the early parts of the 1900s. And uh, what I like to do is just show you and tell you a little bit about some of the people that were here that were instrumental, and we'll talk a little bit about them in a few minutes, but. Benjamin Wilson, uh, coming from Ontario. Again, the sport of curling came heavy duty into, into Canada. Um, uh, he came to the United States in, at the age of 17 with his family, came to Wassa in 1907. Again, we're starting to see that early parts of the 1900s, people are starting to gather in Wausau that um, are going to be bringing the sport of curling into this city. Ben, ben Wilson, a very important part, a member of the Wassa Group, um, started in 1910, he started Wilson Mercantile, a large uh, mercantile company lasting here for a long time, a very influential person in this city. And of course, another important person was John Sturdivant, mentioned before in that letter, uh, to the Portage, uh, Portage Curling Club. Uh, he was born in Delavan. Uh, he spent many years in the newspaper business, but in 1907, he came here and established the Wausau Daily Record Herald. Again, this era of this early 1900s, people coming into the city that are gonna be instrumental in, st in starting the sport of curling in this city. And the other person that we, I can't lay any uh, specific importance to, besides him being a lumber baron, of course, was Alexander Stewart. But he also was coming from uh, Canada, and I'm, he came here much earlier, but he was uh, mid-1800s, I want to say, but he was quite important as a lumber baron in the city. But him coming from Canada, the strong sport of curling in the up in that region of Canada, I think that he may have had something to do it because I think his, some of his ancestors were from Scotland. 
so then in the ninth, you know, so then this starts the the common story of the uh, of the Wausau Curling Club, uh, nineteen middle of the nineteen twenties, nineteen twenty five. Again, we see in the headline of the of the Wausau paper, B. F. Wilson, um, uh, president of the Wausau Curling Club in nineteen twenty five. Uh, we'll play at the fairgrounds. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a couple of minutes. But again, uh, this uh, this officially marks really the beginning of the Wausau Curling Club uh, in in Marathon Park. Again, again, in that same year, uh, first curling game to be held tonight uh, in the in the stock barns at the fairgrounds in. Uh, in Marathon Park, the beginning really of the Wausau Curling Club here in Wausau. And then the next year, again, the, the schedule, I just mentioned this as, yes, there, uh, by then, within a year, 60 men in participate in bond spiels at Rings in Marathon Park. Uh, again, uh, becoming a, quite a popular uh, sport already within a year. Uh, I think it had its roots way back, uh, in the years prior, but it really took off in 1925 at the, as the organization. So here we are uh, in the in the curling barns at at Marathon Park, a dark a dark uh, dark space, so to speak. But here they were on the ice in Marathon Park, and the curling club of of course took it upon themselves to uh, to brighten up the place a little bit and it did take a different look and it eventually did did uh, look a little bit brighter instead instead of those uh, dark curling barn that we saw in the prior slide so here uh, so then this is pretty much the way uh, the curling barns and the curling club uh, took action through the years um, in the curling barns at marathon park it was their home for for many, many years, almost decades, um, until the new curling barn, the new co curling complex was established off of Kent Street in Wassa. But one of the things that I did want to mention as sort of uh, uh, that put Wassa on the map was the United States Men's Curling Association shootout in 1976, where, they, where this was the National Organization of Curling Clubs uh, coming into Wassa uh, at the multi-purpose building in 1976. It really put Wassa on the map uh, as a, really a center of curling, uh, a center of curling really in the United States as well as North America. And, and this is the, the organization uh, of, of, that, of that event. Uh, some of the, how, some of the major players of the curling sport um, getting ready for the uh, that title play here in Wausau in 1976. I also want to mention another key player in our curling history was Harry Johnson, born in 1899 in Stetsonville, graduated at Rip in 1923, came to Wausau that same year to teach at the Wassa High School Teaching Science, he retired in 1965. But it was Mr. Johnson uh, as really the instrument, the coach, the coach of the curling, um, curling club at the high school that really generated continual year after year interest in the sport of curling in the city. Because when you have these curlers, for instance, in the curling club at high school, Mr. Johnson there on, on your right, uh, when you have these numbers of curlers, curlers coming into the sport, that those numbers are gonna stay with the sport past the graduation, and they're gonna be curlers for the rest of their lives, really, in Wassa as part of the curling club. So it was Mr. Johnson year after year after year that really perpetrated the interest in curling beginning at the high school, but then keeping it going because these eventually would be curlers um, being, being part of the club, like I said, for year after year. Uh, a, great, a great 
sportsmen in this city. Uh, I think one of the key players, one of the key, if there is a, if there is a statue of curlers in the city, I think Mr. Johnson should be considered one of those because he certainly had a big part in playing the continuity of curling in this city. Uh, here he is. Uh, he not only was the coach of the high school, but he was very involved with the, the curling club itself. He was a curler himself, uh, a, very, a very active person in the curling club through all those years. In 1965, he retired. Um, but then again, it just goes to show that he was, uh, he retired from the coach, from the sport of, uh, from coaching the curling club at the high school. Um, but, you know, he, what this says is, you know, gives a little bit of a resume of what he did while he was uh, coach starting the, the uh, getting it organized within the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association um, and a variety of other things that he did to inspire the sport of curling in this city. So with that, I, I, uh, I just wanted to um, conclude uh, the sport of curling has come a long way from uh, those outdoor ice rinks, those even as in Wausau, the flooding of the rinks at whether it be Rockchild's Pavilion or, or on, on Franklin Street to the modern, very, very, very modern complex that we have today at the Wausau Curling Center. Uh, a sport that in, in worldview is hundreds of years old, but in Wausau's view, maybe going back to the 1880s, 1890s, and a strong um, early on with the, with the uh, immigrants from Scotland, but then eventually merging and coming through into, into the current day with great help from the Sturdivants, um, from the Wilsons and Mr. Johnson uh, to create the sport that we have today in the city of Wausau.